Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Kita with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a recipe video. I know it's been a while, so I'm super excited to finally put out an easy, delicious recipe for y'all. I thought today we make a simple casserole dish. Today we're going to making a keto creamy chicken cauliflower rice casserole. Very minimal ingredients, super, super simple to make. You can make this in like 30 minutes or less. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So today we are going to be using a rotisserie chicken. This is supposed to be a very super simple fast meal. If you want to boil your own chicken, you can definitely do that and then shred it. But I find rotisserie chickens to be very convenient and I'm just using original flavor. You can also change up your flavor. So we're going to go ahead, shred up the whole chicken and you're going to want a large bow to add it to. Just going to go ahead and shred it into fine pieces and you can also leave in the skin if you choose to. All right, I got all my rotisserie chicken shredded into my large bow, and now we gotta start adding in the rest of ingredients. This recipe is super simple. You just throw everything in a bowl and bake it, and it's delicious. So you're gonna take some frozen cauliflower rice. You can get this at any grocery store in the frozen section, and it's just, you know, regular cauliflower rice. Sometimes they have seasoned ones as well. This is 12 ounces. You're gonna wanna add the whole bag to your rotisserie chicken. Just gonna dump it all in here. And mine's just semi-frozen. Then we gotta season. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of salt to taste. You can change up your seasonings as well, add in any kind of different flavors that you like. We're gonna go in with some black pepper. And then this is the seasoning that I'm gonna go ahead and go in with. You can go in with like a herb seasoning. I absolutely love Dano's original seasoning. So I'm gonna go in with this one to give it that herb flavor. Then, of course, we need cheese. So we're gonna go in with eight ounces of softened cream cheese. You do wanna make sure it's softened just so it's easier to mix in here with the chicken and cauliflower rice. We're gonna add in the whole eight ounces. Just like that. Then to make it a little bit more creamer, we're gonna go ahead and mix in one fourth cup of some heavy whipping cream. Because remember, this is gonna be a creamy, cheesy casserole dish. So one fourth cup. And now we're gonna put in some arm work. So you gotta mix everything well together until your cream cheese is mixed with your chicken and cauliflower rice. This is what I've been working out for. I gotta put in the muscle. Okay, you want everything nice and mixed just like this. Now you wanna go ahead and bring out a casserole dish. Okay, we're bringing out our casserole dish. I am using a nine by 13 dish, and we're gonna go ahead and dump this all at the bottom. If you, if you don't have like a non-stick baking dish, make sure you spray it down just to ensure nothing sticks. Pour all this in here. Then you wanna go ahead and evenly spread it out to all your edges. Get a nice, even layer. And you can definitely double these ingredients. If you have a bigger family, it's super easy to double it and just make a bigger batch. Okay, I got everything in an even layer. Now we gotta go in with some more cheese. You could use any kind of cheese that you like. I like to put some mild cheddar cheese and we're gonna put about a cup to two cups right on top and just cover it in an even layer, get it all nice and cheesy. Just like that. The last ingredient going in, we gotta add some crispy bacon. So I went ahead earlier and crisped up five strips of bacon. Get it as crispy as you like it and you're gonna finish it off right on top. Put your bacon all around. Last thing to do, we are about to pop this in the oven to bake. We're gonna go ahead and pop our casserole dish in the oven until it's nice and bubbly and nice and melty. You wanna preheat it to 350 degrees for 20 minutes. All right guys, after 20 minutes, everything should be nice and bubbly. The cheese is gonna be melty and it smells absolutely delicious and it's so simple to make guys. So I really hope y'all enjoy this with your family. We're gonna let it cool down and cut right into it. I like to just top it off with a little bit of parsley flakes to add some color or my husband has, my husband says, what do you say, babe, these are? Green leaves. They're green leaves. <laughs> we add it right on top. 
pretty. You make it look all nice and pretty like you put in some hard work in this dish. <laughs> All right guys, I let it cool down. When you dig in, this is how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to be nice and creamy, nice and cheesy. You got your rotisserie chicken, your cauliflower rice, all the cheeses, and of course, bacon. And it's so simple and delicious to make, guys. So I hope y'all enjoy this quick and easy recipe for you and your family. All right guys, that was today's recipe and our super simple casserole dish. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. And if you happen to make it, please head over to my Facebook page and post some pictures there. Keto with Sammy, it will be linked in the description below for y'all to go ahead and click on. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this recipe and share my channel with all your family and friends and I will see you on the next one.